Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Jennifer Freeman. I'm a sixth grade math teacher. And um, if I teach your child, I probably teach them in their gifted class or their grade level class. But the information that I'm going to talk about today is is for both classes. It's just for math in general. Um, I work the Teams pages the same way. And before I start, you know, sharing Teams pages and all of that, I just want you guys to know that I'm really enjoying seeing your children on video. They're as cute as they can be. And you know, I can't wait to see everybody in person and I can't wait to meet you guys in person. So, you know, they just make me smile every day. They're so precious um, and I think they're working really hard and I don't want anybody to be stressed. So hopefully this video will help everybody. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen because I want to share um, my team's pages. I'm going to bounce back and forth between A and D block, just different blocks. But I want to start off with this left hand side. These are the channels that your children are working with right now. Um, and every channel has something a little bit different. So if I'm at the general channel here, I can look at the general channel for anything important posted. Like for he, for example, um, in this class right here, I have how to get to Clever and the Big Ideas textbook because some students were struggling with getting to Clever. Um, I haven't been assigning uh, pages in the textbook yet because um, I'm not sure if everybody can use the ebook. So I was hoping that um, you know you could your children would check on this to see if they can get to the ebook and maybe you can help them. Also, there's directions for adding work to an assignment, things like that. Here is the um, also under general, you can get to the files and the files here are pretty important too. This is just information that your child would need. Um, here's the login directions for big ideas again. This was an assignment we had at the beginning of the year. This we're working on decimals. If your child clicks on that folder, they can get PowerPoints on the decimals, which includes notes and things like that. Um, if you uh, if you go back to I want to go back to the. Um, to the files right here is important information for you and for your child. If you go to course information under here, we normally first of all, they've got the welcome to sixth grade um, math PowerPoint that we did at the beginning of the year. That's got some really good information about scheduling and things like that. And then the library access link documents so they can go in and watch videos on how to check out books in the library. But here are the math course requirements and we usually send them home and have them sign sent back the bottom portion signed and sent back. Um, but right now, since we're not dealing in paper, we're all online. I wanted to make sure you knew where to go and find this. And um, the course requirements are here and it tells you like the grading weights of things and you know about it tells you about retests. If your child, um, you know, just messes up on a test, we do do some, we do some review and then we go back over the test. Um, so this is good information for you to go in and look at um, and it'll just let you know how the grade books working and what every how much everything counts, what percentage. Um, also something um, important. So that was under the general. Also under the general is a class notebook and this class notebook is um, designed to help your child review anything that we're working on in class, get some extra practice. So when they click on class notebook, they'll click on this arrow right here and then they'll only see their name. I see this is my view, so I see other students names and then they'll click on their name first quarter because we're still in first quarter right now. And so with um, grade level, we've been working on decimals and so for instance, um, we worked on decimal multiplication today, so we went in and we watched we watched this video. I'm trying to wait for it to, to come up. Sometimes things take a while to load in here. Um, so, you know, that's what we deal with in class on a day to day basis. So let me try this one more time. Um, but inside here, they should you should see a video. So we watched the brain pop video. The picture should pop up here and then there's some practice problems down here. Let me go to let me see if another one will load here. Let's go to compare decimals. See if that loads a little bit better. OK, so like this would have the standards and then some practice. This would be a practice site where they could go in and practice a video and some other just helpful things. So that is found under the class notebook. Um, the class meeting block is 
where your child goes, they may join through the calendar, but you can join the meeting here. And the videos, like I record every um, class meeting that we have, and the videos automatically upload here. So if, you're, if your child misses one day, um, they could go into this, into the class meetings for their block, and then they can click on this little part above the video. Um, the, the most current video is always showing, but so this is today's video, but if they can scroll back through and watch any videos that they missed from any days, um, if they were absent or if they need to go back and look and say, okay, I didn't get all my notes, so I'm gonna go back and watch it and get all my notes, or I didn't quite understand something, I'm gonna go back in and watch that. Um, that's just very helpful, and that's where they'll go to do that. Another really space, this, this space right here is homework and classwork, and I expect everybody to, I expect your children to look at this daily, because if you notice, I've got dates at the top, and it tells this, why it says homework and classwork is because it's what we're working on in class or what needs to be finished for homework. So here, today, um, in this particular class, Monday, September 28th, I gave a class kick assignment to your children and they'll go to this website, click on this link, type in this code and complete the assignment and they should be working on at the Alex knowledge check. If um, if I say I'm on, let me go to another page I'm given. I just want to show you another example of what you might see underneath there. So for this, if your child's in this class, um, I mark this as important because we were supposed to have a test on subtracting integers tomorrow and I've changed that because I, we didn't get to the Jeopardy to practice today. So I've shown them that I've changed the test to Wednesday and told them that there's extra practice in the notebook and any quizzes that they haven't done and what's going on here um, in class tomorrow. So these are the just a couple of examples of things that they'll see under homework and classwork. They need to check this every day. This is probably the site. If they only go to one part of this teams a day, it should be this one. Um, here is um, a math questions questions chat. So if your child is having any issues with anything, they can chat with me. Um, and then this channel is just where they go to have the RTI meetings and they can click here um, to get there. Um, these are called channels, and so when we're referring to channels, we're referring to these. General has, remember, posts, files, and class notebook, um, assignments as well, and grades. Now, I've stopped, when they click on assignments, I've, I've kind of stopped. I haven't put any new assignments on lately because um, what's happening is some of them are quizzes assignments and there's nothing to turn in um, because I see the grade, so I'm going to one central place homework and classwork to make sure that the students know um, exactly what to do on what day. Um, so those are the channels. Now I talked about um, a te you know, test. There are not any particular days that I do a test like I don't do one every Friday or Wednesday or Monday. I just do I just give a test when we have finished up a standard or we have finished up a unit and so um, you know, that'll be just placed in the homework and classwork announcements. Um, I'll add them to the general too as well, um, but I just, this is the most important place for your students to go. Now, I talked about Alex. That is something everybody is going to be doing. Um, and so I wanna share what that kind of looks like with you. Um, my view looks, looks different from what your child's view looks like. Um, but it's similar. So I'm going to go down here to Alex and they'll go to Alex.com as you see up here in the browser and they'll log in with their username and password. And once their page comes up, it's not going to look exactly like mine. It may look like this, but you're good. They're going to see up here. Um, the, where the word Alex is where I'm pointing to now, they're going to see three lines right here. They will click on those and when they click on those, they will end up going to um, assignments. So hold on, I'm waiting for this to pull up my assignments. So they will be up here in this corner and they'll click on assignments and open up their assignments. And what you'll see, what they'll see 
is anything that I've given them that they need to complete. Now, this is an initial knowledge check. If there's someone who hasn't completed that, that needs to be completed because that places you and Alex according to where you need to be working. And it, and it pinpoints the things that you need extra practice on so that when I give a topic goal, which is right here, um, students can go in and start working on some topics. And for gifted, I'm starting them off with 10 topics this week. Um, for ACE classes, I'm doing eight topics, but I'm not starting it until Monday. Um, Monday, the I think Monday's the sixth. Um, pretty sure. Um, so they'll have eight topics until I move it up to 10. So right now we're just trying to get everybody through the knowledge checks and logged on to Alex and um, some students are not logged on to Alex and where they can go and find that information. The directions for logging on to Alex is under this all important category homework and classwork. If you scroll up, it was under for Friday, September 18th and there's directions here for them to go in and sign up. So hopefully they've already done that. I've got a list of students that, you know, I'm going to see an RTI, you know, about helping them through that. So um, that is something that will be ongoing this year. Your child will be moving at their own pace and working on extra standards for Alex that that they need to work on, that they really need to focus on. Um, let's see, um, covered all of this. Let me think about what else I need to tell you. Um, Alex. Oh, OK, so um, RTI is scheduled. That RTI is here for um, in the RTI meetings. It's scheduled from 2 to 345 on different days for different um, blocks. So like A block students would go to RTI for their class for their A block class on Mondays, B block on Tuesdays, C block on Wednesdays and D block on Thursdays. Now, um, students have asked, can I come in and uh, can I come in and join your RTI today, even though it's not their day? And yes, I can call them in um, and they just need to chat me and they can call them in and get any extra help. So they really can come any day they want to, but they need to make sure that they check with their teacher that they're supposed to have RTI with first in case that teacher has asked them to definitely stop by RTI. So, um, you know, we're really available anytime. Fridays, if anybody needs me to call them into RTI, I can do that as well. I'm pretty much, after RTI is over at 345, we do shut down um, the meetings. Um, but like some, you know, like I, I get chats on my phone and emails on my phone, and I don't mind answering those. Um, I go to bed at nine o'clock, <laughs> or I call it quits at about nine o'clock. So if I don't answer you after nine o'clock, it's not that I'm trying to avoid you, it's just that. Um, you know, I'm done. I think that's the time to cut it off. But anyway, through the evening, I'm usually there to answer questions. So, you know, I know this can be a stressful time for everybody trying to do all of this online. Um, you know, it's gets stressful too. So I'm, I try to be available as much as possible for any questions or to fix anything. Um, so please um, tell your children and, and I want you to know that please feel free and don't hesitate to contact me at any point. You need to contact me in the evenings because I know people work so um, but I wanted to just sh walk you through the teams pages um, so hopefully I didn't go too fast if I did you can just watch this video again <laughs> um, or send me any questions um, but I do want you to know that I really have been enjoying your children I'm used to seeing them in person but online they've been so smart and so helpful and so hardworking you should be proud of them um, I'm proud of them so I hope I don't know when you do this. I know that we're doing it for open house, so you could be watching it this evening. You could be watching it another day. So whatever, whenever you're watching this, whatever you're doing, I hope you enjoy yourself afterwards. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, you can email me or chat me, uh, chat with me on your child's teams. So I look forward to meeting you all in person, and I'll see you soon. Bye.